so here's the deal the days are finally winding down and it is almost time for me to go like it's crazy because it's it's really hitting me now being that i literally have a few days left here and i don't know how to feel like it's a lot of excitement obviously because it's a new chapter but i also am like wow so this vlog is going to be a lot of running around i have a lot of last minute pickups and shopping to do i want to grab some things that i do want to take with me let me update you guys and let you know what my plans are because i did switch things around a little bit in the last vlog i believe i told you guys that i was only going to bring my two suitcases and my carry-on well i switched things around and i decided that i'm going to be shipping a few things i realized that i do have quite a few um small appliances and also just like small things that i think are a little weighty so i don't want to bring those on the plane with me and like i said i do i don't really have a lot of stuff but i was just you know weighing the options and i'm like okay i might could just bring everything but i believe the fee for like an overweight overweight fee is probably about like 150 or something like that so i was just kind of like do I want to pay the 150 and just bring everything? But then I was like, you know what? No, let me be on the safe side because I don't want to be, you know, too stuffed with stuff. Not just paying the 150 was my concern. My uh, my main concern was, is everything going to fit? So I was like, you know what? I think the best thing to do is just to ship some of the stuff, like the main uh, small appliances. And also some of my body care stuff. I do also want to ship those as well maybe between like two or three boxes that's it i think that should be good so to start the vlog off today i actually did purchase a vlogging camera back in october and went back a couple days ago because they did have an extended exchange up until i believe like in january which was like so good because the vlogging camera that i bought had a little bit of cons that i didn't like that i didn't like about it so i swapped it out for a new camera so that's what i'm going to do right now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to run to the city because i do want to grab an extra battery especially vlogging you always want to have um an extra battery with these cameras because you can't really get to like a charging port um especially when you're out vlogging. I do want to go to B&H because that's where I purchased my camera from. And then while I'm in the city, I decided, you know what, I'm going to run to the spot in the East Village that I got my favorite body washes from. I'm going to go by there and grab a couple body washes. Oh, and I do have to grab some boxes as well today. I want to get that out the way. I already ordered the tape from Amazon. For the box, I think I'm going to go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and get that. I do want to get everything shipped out though, shipped off by like three to four days before I am leaving just so that they can get there in time I mean that should be good right I think yeah so it'll get there I'll be there by the time it gets there but that's pretty much the plans for today it is so freaking freezing y'all I went to the door and I was just like oh my gosh so I just threw on thank god I bought this thing here from Primark so it came in handy today I forgot I had it actually I don't know what it's called but it's super comfortable and it's keeping my my ears warm so I did not have to put like a whole hat on and then I have my gloves in my pocket and I have on my scarf so I'm all bundled up I'm ready for outside well I'm not ready but I'm as ready as it's gonna get so I made it in the city I am by 34th Street. It's freezing and I have to pee. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this. B&H is closed. I didn't know they were closed on Saturdays. Oh well. Anyways, I really need the battery, so I'm gonna go to Best Buy. It was a little bit more in Best Buy, but I'm just gonna get it out the way today. And I have to pee so bad. And with this pandemic, you can't really find a bathroom nowhere. <gasps> oh, this is so annoying. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go by 14th Street anyways. So I'm gonna go to the Best Buy there. And then there's a Trader Joe's. And I know for sure they let you use the bathroom. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got to the bathroom. Oh, 
So I'm only gonna get two. See, I'm doing good. I'm catching myself. I was about to go crazy, but now is not the time, Chin. There's a store close by here that I'm gonna run to real quick because they have, I saw in the window they had like some, you know like the Clorox wipes? They had the seventh generation one, so I want to go and grab one of those. Non-toxic, obviously. So yeah, let me run and do that real quick. <laughs> The big one that I need was like $12 and then the other one down from that was I think $10. So I'm gonna check FedEx. Um, if not, then I'll just go to either Home Depot or Lowe's like I wanted to do in the first place. Hello. I need some moving boxes. And what size are you looking for? The biggest one you have. Um, the biggest one I have you cannot carry. They're heavy and they're oh. big. The biggest one I have is a 28 cube. That's a 20 cube. I don't know if you want a couple of these. Can I see it, please? Mm -hmm. First 28. This is 20 cube. Hmm. Dang. No, just three. Oh, yeah, right there, yeah. oh these. Oh. oh, I would need to kind of see it. You see, like I, I want to. I think yeah, bring it from here. Oh, okay. Dang, I couldn't fold it up no more, right? Yeah. Like if you want to carry it? Yeah. You have to fold it in I had to go all right the way to like Brooklyn. This. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah these, these should be good. You want to do that size? Hmm. You know what? I think I should go with one of the 16, 20. Yeah, I think I should do two 16s and one 20. Home sheets, bubble wraps. I was actually gonna get the bubble wrap wraps from the dollar store. Um, All right, so I made it home and it was a struggle, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to go back out and finish getting a few more things that I wanted to grab today. But I had to come and drop these off because this was just way too much for me to carry. I did go to Best Buy and got the battery. I am so stuck right now because obviously I've never really did this before. So I got a 22 box 20 and a 16 and I also got this bubble wrap. Ended up just going for the 50 square feet because I'm like... You know, might as well. This was $11.99. The other ones were like $4. So I'm like, let me just get the bigger one just in case. I really don't even know what and what I'm going to put in the boxes yet. I think I made a good decision though by getting this bigger one. Because at least this could put a lot of stuff in it. And this can hold up to, I believe they said 60 pounds. And then this one could hold up to about 30 pounds. So that's more than enough space for me. I don't even know where to start y'all. Like... I'm not even going to pretend like I know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I want to pack together. I don't know anything. Sometimes, like at night, I just sit there and I just try to plan it out in my head. But nothing came to mind yet. I think once I start to like really remove the stuff off the counters and out of the cabinets, then everything will start to play out. But as for right now, my mind is blank. <laughs> I'm going to recharge my phone for a little bit and also the camera battery. And then we go back on the road. All right, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Heading to the supermarket now. So I went to the original supermarket that I first saw and I bought the Kalaloo from. I was so disappointed because they didn't have it. And that's the second time that I went back and they didn't have it. So I asked the, the manager and he said that something with the company or whatever. So I was a little bummed because I love this specific one. And I was actually about to get back on the train and i said you know what i saw this korean market next door and i said you know what oh let me go run in there real quick and guess what i found so this is the one i was talking about this is the brand this is the best 
brand of Kalalu. I've tried this one before, the Grace, but I don't know. It it it's like they don't chop it up good enough. It leaves like little weird stuff in my mouth, and I don't like it. So this brand is like really really good. So these are uh, three fifty nine. So I'm gonna get like three of these. Oh, I should have got a cart. And then I always check for the dates, especially buying them from here because sometimes they don't really be checking the, the expiration dates in these stores and then you get home and then it's expired so these are 2024 Grab this. this one is better now let's go find a cart I was telling snap fam i was like i feel like i'm coming from jamaica because <laughs> usually when you coming from jamaica you're bringing up all this stuff and i'm only going down south but i'm grabbing all my yard stuff you know sis can't leave the yard thing you know the thing go i have a few more stuff to get and i was gonna go to this i mean i still have to go to another one another market but i was gonna actually go to another one too Y'all gotta catch up, right? But, um, I might as well just grab what I can get out of here because it's pretty big and they seem to have a lot of stuff, like, it's really big in here. Grab a bottle of water just for the house for my next couple of days because I'm kind of running out of water. You guys know I love water, water is life, water is life. I'm here eating some food. The way I was so hungry, I didn't even eat all day, literally. And it's nine o'clock at night. I was gonna make bok choy, tuna, and boiled banana and boiled Irish potato. Mm -mm. Couldn't do that right now, I'm so hungry. <laughs> As I was walking by going to the other market, I saw this fish and chips place and I was actually feeling for, um fried shrimp and the funny thing is right when I walked in I thought they were black I've never seen the fish and chips place with Asians they were Asian it was like right over there on near Atlantic and um and Nostrand I was like wow the Asians getting their money because they know the hood love their um, crab legs. Yeah, that's the kind of spot that it is. Like a crab leg spot. So they know they, they hood people love the crab legs and the corn and the fish and chips and all that stuff. So they, they're smart. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. So that is my dinner. Also got um a side of steamed veggies it looks really really good i'll catch up with y'all probably tomorrow well not probably i will catch up with you guys tomorrow like i said the next couple of days i'm gonna be out and about with shipping and running errands and all that shenanigans so i'll definitely see you guys tomorrow i'm about to go to bed anyways it's early but i'm so tired i'm literally running off for like three or four hours of sleep I barely got any sleep last night and i, I knew i had to get up and get things done so I'm just gonna call it an early night all right so good night good morning you guys it's a new day it's actually two days later yesterday what did I do yesterday oh I was out filming um, content yesterday and then I ended up going to the mall but I didn't vlog yeah but um I, I'll show you guys what I got from the mall either today or tomorrow but you guys will see however I, I'm gonna get going right now because I do have a nail appointment I have not gotten my nails done in probably about 10 months since the pandemic before the pandemic I think about like two or three months before the pandemic i don't know why the camera is picking up my makeup to look so different than my hands this is really weird but my foundation matches i promise it does we're gonna get going we've got a really long day today i will see y'all at the nail salon Focus
Because today was a very draining, exhausting day. Target was packed. Being that it's, you know, after Christmas, I mean, it's not like the guest services line was long. Is the freaking store was just packed. And I was very shocked. Today is what, Monday? Line literally, I've never seen Target. And y'all know, I, I shop at the Target all the time. And I've, the line, I've seen the line long before, but never that freaking long. Like, it, it was wrapped around all the way. It was the Target by Broadway, by, not Broadway Junction. It was the Target by the Flatbush Junction. You know, the registers are up here. The line was all the way down to, like, where the toilet paper and the paper towels is. And then it curved around, okay? Never saw it like that before, so I don't know what the heck was going on, but yeah, um, so it was just like super crowded, and I just didn't feel like taking out the camera, and then you know, and people passing me by, I just couldn't be bothered. I ordered a couple of things from Amazon, I didn't order them like the same day, so they're just like coming in back to back. So, this right here is just a book that I just purchased because. Y'all know the book I was reading? I was reading it for a very long time. And it's the um, Think and Grow Rich. The Think and Grow Rich that I'm reading for months now, it's just something about it. Like, I've learned a lot from the book. But I'm at this chapter right now. It's it's um, called Organized Planning. And it's like about like leadership. And I want to finish reading the book. I forced myself <laughs> so bad to finish it but I just can't and then every time like I skim through I don't want to put it down because I know it still has some valuable information in there so every time I skim through like the ending you know like other pages it looks like it's some good stuff so I, I really want to finish it but I don't know if I'm struggling I'm not going to force myself so I'm either going to like skip that chapter and finish but in the meantime I wanted to just get another book just so I can um you know start on so I just got, well actually I got two books. The other book that, that's going to come is called Four Agreements. So the Four Agreements comes on Wednesday. And this one is The Richest Man in Babylon. Before I even show you guys these stuff, I just want to share something with y'all. So y'all can kind of have an understanding, you know, of the whole journey that I'm pursuing and going through right now. And... Y'all can kind of, you know, really understand where I, I am in life and the direction that I'm going down. This whole move was definitely intentional and it was well thought out. <laughs> Not the time specifically. So these are just some stuff that I got from the health food store these are just a couple teas and supplements i'm so excited i get so excited to buy these i went into rainbow the other day and i just i don't know clothes and stuff doesn't really make me as happy as buying supplements and herbs <laughs> that is so freaking crazy just saying that y'all know i repeat all my clothes i don't really care if i wear the same thing back to back like i just don't care i don't i don't i just don't care it just doesn't do anything for me i get really excited whenever i walk into the health food store or like you know i'm buying like gr shopping for like groceries like you know my greens and stuff like that like that is what makes me happy and i realized that when i walked in rainbow and it, i was just feeling like a zombie just walking around like you know looking even though I really do need more jeans and stuff, kind of like just 
seeing what they have and i really wanted to enjoy the experience but i just couldn't anyways this one i got the organic turmeric root what something i did realize was i can never really find turmeric just by itself this place is the only place that actually has wait what the heck the first one i got was not like this this one is more crushed up the one I got before was, I still have some more in my cabinet. It was literally just like the root by itself. But, I mean, I guess this would work. I'm going to use this to make a cup of tea. Yeah, it's good. It just looks different. This is more crushed, but it's the same thing, I guess. Like, every time I go and I try to get this brand, which is my favorite organic brand, traditional medic medicinals, medicinals or something like that um they always have the turmeric but then they, they have it with metal sweet and ginger or they have it mixed with something else so that's why i went to this store particularly because i want i knew they had this by itself you know like i said i just want to drink a cup of tea with it with just nothing else because i have ginger tea already like i don't want to mix you know i don't know maybe I'm just being extra right but anyways i just got that and then i got another turmeric with metal sweet and ginger so I do want to consume more turmeric because I've heard about the benefits that it has. So I just got that. And then I got burdock root. I heard burdock root is really good. I forgot. You know the funny thing is, guys? I know a lot of the benefits that these herbs has. But then there's sometimes when I totally forget and then I have to go back and Google them. But the reason why I got these was because I, I ran across the information and I Googled it. So that's the reason why I got these. <laughs> I literally just, when I run across information or whatever, something, I may be watching something or reading something and then they mention about these herbs or whatever and then I, go, first thing I do is go on Google, see the benefits and then I cop it. That's how I do. When I get to the new apartment, I'm gonna get some jars so that I can um, place them in the glass jars. Even though these remain pretty fresh though, but you know, since they're there in bulks anyways, so I'm just going to do that. And then these I'm so happy about. <laughs> okay, so this one I know what this is about. This one is a bilberry. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. But this is bilberry. I got like a little drop of it. This is one one um one ounce and all of these are pure natural organic no added sugar no preservatives no nothing it's just straight extract it's from the plant or um herb or roots or whatever it is well, bilberry is supposed to be good for your vision this whole move is so inspiring for me because i get to really just get back into my healing health and wellness that I lacked and like I said I'll get into that video when I settle in I got some I got some ish to tell you girl okay so just stay tuned for my little story time this is why this is so important to me right now because I get to really just be in a space that I can thrive I'm pretty new with this elderberry and this is with I don't know how to pronounce this Echinacea. It's good for like your immune system. It's an immune supporter. Echinacea. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of these teas around. I was gonna get the tea until my eyes glanced on this, you guys. Like literally, I my eyes literally zoomed in on this, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's meant to be. This is it. I love teas, but I mean, think about it. Like, how much tea are you gonna drink a day? I'm really excited. I don't know why. Oh wait, and this is eight full ounces, so this is quite a lot. I went to the vitamin shop and look what I found, y'all. I couldn't I did not know they had this. And I asked the guy, I was like, did they just start making these? Because I've never saw this. This is the black seed capsules, y'all. Okay. Black seed oil. Remember, I told you guys I love to take black seed oil. Now, let me tell you, I got a little, I got a little story to talk about that. On the reason why I went, I was so happy to to get these capsules was because I found that whenever I, because I take black seed oil in the morning before I eat, I realized that I couldn't stomach the taste anymore, and I was questioning at one point. I was like, but wait. 
I was like, one of the bottles didn't really make me feel like this, you know? And I checked the expiration date. Expiration date is still good. I'm like, I don't know, but... I don't know. I just couldn't stomach the taste. I started to use honey. That's what I started to do. I used to take a tablespoon of the oil first, and then I poured some honey right on top after, right after it, and then I would take it with the honey. But every time, like I said, I didn't eat or anything, you know, for like a good couple minutes after. So I would just, you know, do whatever I'm doing. Then I would literally just think about the taste of it, and it would just make me nauseous. It just didn't make me feel, not nauseous in a bad way, but nauseous because it's just not a very tasty supplement. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was really excited to see this one. That is pretty much all. So I got three new supplements. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, 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 hey. You know, I love that everything is coming together just the way that I envision everything to be. It's like, love to be in that healthy state like i love the whole i love it you know like because i just realized you know like we have to just be very very conscious with our health because without our health we can't do nothing like literally so it's important that we taking care of ourselves and our bodies and and you know the same way that you do everything else it's the same way you need to really put in the time and the effort into taking care of yourself your body is you know it, it has to keep up and you have to do the job to uphold so it these are just some washcloths and i did go with white i love these washcloths i had some like thicker ones before but i don't know they're kind of hard to manage when i'm trying to take a shower i like these thinner ones better so I just saw these in um, <clears throat> Pretty Girl. And y'all, I did not know freaking Pretty Girl is changing over just from a clothing store to a whole like a ho home store. I was like, wait, I had to look up at the, the sign to see if it's still Pretty Girl. I asked the guy, I was like, wait, what's going on here? He was like, there's, you know, the clothes is downstairs now and then upstairs is like, you can get like home stuff, like shower stuff. You can get like, you know, like kitchen forks and pots and stuff like that. I was like, wow, interesting. But yeah, so I saw these and these were $3.99. So I just grabbed some of these. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. That's good enough for me. So when I get um did get there, I could just throw these in the washer. Cause you know, sis don't gotta go to no laundry mat. We just gonna and just throw these in the washes. Okay. Okay. Excuse me why I have my moments. I got these jeans. Like, ah, let me get it. Cause this is nine, it was ten dollars, nine ninety-nine. And this is a size five um so yeah just some regular plain blue jeans Ugh. i got these organic tampons of course the ones that i usually get they didn't have and that was a bummer because the last time i went it happened to where the whole section is they usually just have like regular and super i forgot the brand name of it but they usually just have like regular and super or like light and regular but they never have super and super plus so when i went like before i had to look around the corner and they had super and super plus there i looked around the corner today and there was none not really like those but i had to just settle for these because this is super plus and then this is super i have a lot of well not really a lot but i have quite a few regular stuff in my bathroom because i really don't use regular tampons like that i don't like to go to bed in nothing but like super plus or super just to stay on the safe side so these are by cora like i said it's gonna be my first time trying out these and then i of course got me some more summer's eve and then i just got some shaving cream i've been using this shaving cream lately and i actually do like it it's the eos one this one is pomegranate and raspberry scents it smells good Mm. I'm also going to do my updated um, body care. I used to have razor bumps underneath my underarms. And I used to hate it. And now they went away. And that's because I've been doing a couple things different. So I'm going to share that with y'all um, in an upcoming video very, very soon. And this is my favorite deodorant right now. I know I've said a couple deodorants were my favorite. But this one is my favorite okay as of right now we're gonna leave it up we're gonna say that as of right now <laughs> but no i really really do truly truly love the native deodorant very pricey though that's the only thing about it these are like 13 dollars or 15 dollars something like that 
and this scent I got is blackberry and green tea they're all paraben and aluminum free they're very very safe on the skin this one smells really good my favorite one that I have in I've been using a lot is the eucalyptus is it eucalyptus and mint, I think? Obviously, the eucalyptus smells very herbally, and I wanted something to switch. I want to switch it up. You know, sometimes I might want to smell herbally, herbally, or sometimes I want to smell fruity. So this one is very fruity, which I love. And I do want to get the grapefruit one as well. They do have a grapefruit one, but I was just like, mm, nah, not, not going to get two today. <laughs> You know when you're a child, the adults will be like, no, just one. I had to tell myself that. I had to be the adult to the adult. No, not two today. One, you're getting chintzia. Just one. <laughs> so I just got the blackberry and green tea. Also got some mint floss. And I also got some more floss with the mint. But these are the ones with the stick. I have not used Listerine in months. So I saw this Listerine has a naturals mouthwash and it is called Listerine Na Naturals and it's herbal mint and it has essential oils in here. There's another one called Hello that I was going to get but I don't know. This one seemed pretty safe. See, let me explain something to you. See, when it comes to like natural stuff, you guys might hear me say oh natural, natural all the time. But when I say natural, a lot of times doesn't always mean like it's just a hundred percent natural you know what i'm saying when i mean natural i mean safe like there's some ingredients that are safe for the skin you get what i'm saying so like we know now that or you should know if you don't know well now you know that parabens are not good for you for the skin um sulfates are not good for the skin um the other word pl ph pethylates or whatever it's called is not good for the skin you know just research these things and you you'll see it pop up so sometimes when i say naturals i really mean safe i do make sure that i read the ingredients on these and there was this one here called thymol that i did see in the regular ones but i think that was pretty okay i got another whipped shea butter i've been loving whipped shea butter this particular brand i love because the one i have i loved and i only had one cent from them i'm gonna actually go on their website and order some more but i just wanted to get a fruity kind that's the thing y'all like <laughs> it's funny me saying that because you know like when you used to go to like victoria's secrets or you go to bath and body works you have like all the nice sweet flavors um fragrances but you know that the stuff that now i know the stuff that they put in it on top of it the fruity stuff is like some kind of like synthetic binders to kind of make them to boost the smell up even more sometimes you know my i do feel like i do miss the smell a little bit <clears throat> so um the one I have is really nice. I love the smell, but I was just getting tired of it. And it's not fruity. It's more like coconutty. It's like, not coconutty. It's like, um, it has cocoa butter and shea butter and, you know, so it smells like that. You know, just more naturally smell. So anyways, I just got another one. It's called Sweet Pea and Wild Flower and it smells really, really good. Actually, you know what? Let me feel it right now. The only thing about that one is these, they kind of like hard, but... Um, it feels extremely nourishing on my skin. Shea butter, sweet pea extract, wildflower extract, lavender oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, cocoa seed butter, vitamin E oil, grapefruit seed extract, and yeah. So. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Mmm, I could just picture myself getting out the shower at night, just rubbing this on my body and laying in bed, reading a book. Mm. Life is amazing. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let me see. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, remember I just said the other one just feels more harder i don't know if it's because of the butters it could be that too now i'm thinking about it. it could be because it has cocoa butter i don't i don't know i don't know let me just shut up but this one feels way softer mm, i'm excited yeah i'm definitely gonna order some more
from their website and it wasn't expensive this one i think is ten dollars but i think it's cheaper on their website like eight dollars or something like that mm. oh yeah this smells great mm, i can just feel the oils i did go to telco and oh these are my same eight and a half to nine i didn't even try these on let me try it on these are the same ones i had when i went to miami <laughs> See my pedicure, my toesies. These are super comfortable. These are just some bed slippers. And I just got some toothbrush. They were $1.99 and it's three in the pack. So I got six toothbrushes here. I need to rainbow and pick up these shades. I love these. I haven't bought shades in a very, very long time. And when I saw these, they were screaming, get me. So I got her. Super, super cute. These are like six bucks. <laughs> this is from the dollar store now. These are just some regular ballpoint, ballpoint pens. Because I do love to jot down everything. <laughs> no lie. Um, I have my composition notebooks. And I love to just write down my plans, my goals in the book. It just really helps a lot. And I got some hangers there's my other ones oh i put some i put one back a set of three hangers you're probably like chin you could have got some of this stuff when you're there but honestly the pricing on some of these were like really good so i couldn't pass it up they were a dollar 49 i got this scale so that i can weigh my suitcases before i get to the airport just to make sure that i'm not overweight this is just a shower cap like regular shower caps and then i got some of these because i'm gonna do my hair care routine every week i'm gonna use these to do my deep conditioning and also my protein treatment you need to cover your hair so that's what i bought those for i'm really surprised that this dollar store actually had these vegetable based toothpaste and these are my favorite you guys seen them over and over in my videos obviously fluoride free i got two of my favorite ones and these were actually like really affordable the first time i saw these was that i get my green juices from they overpriced it, it was like seven dollars i paid for that so these were only 350 so i grabbed two of these and then i grabbed one of the this one has Zafron, tea tree, aloe vera, ginger, and lemon. At first, I was like ginger, but remember that ginger is kind of like spicy, so it's gonna, it's gonna give you that burning effect. Lashes that I got. And then these are the pairs that I'm wearing right now, actually. Love these. I got this conditioner and detangler for synthetic hair this is the synthetic hair and i love this it's a half wig actually just got this so that i can you know like just kind of just spray this and bring her back to life a little bit all right so that's pretty much everything i got today so i'm just gonna show you i have two more bags put away because i had went shopping way before i even started this vlog so i'm just gonna show you everything that i got like as far as like snacks and stuff like that so you know before i show you that let me tell you what i got from the mall yesterday being that i didn't take you guys there with me i really needed some gym sneakers so 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 comfy i'm not really too fond about the color though i really wanted like black it had black in an eight and a half which sometimes i'm an eight and a half like i'm really eight and a half but sometimes they're just like you could just feel it like you're just your foot is just literally right at the top so i know that i wanted a nine so i wasn't going to squeeze my foot into the eight and a half especially i'm gonna be working out that would have been just way too uncomfortable so i just went with this yeah super comfy it's just a starter when i get there i'm not even gonna wait to get settled in or anything the gym is there and i'm gonna use it asap like i'm gonna utilize it you know i'm not playing no games i'm not making no excuses it's go time don't wait until you feel like it's gonna be the perfect moment the perfect moment is right now don't make no excuses because then you're gonna be wishing the next day or a week from now or two two months from now or next year because you go because you just wanted to procrastinate or you want to just have that whole mindset of i'm not ready yet or you know make up all the excuses in the world no that doesn't get you nowhere the time is always now. Do what you can. Start small. Build up. Do. Just do it. I did say I wasn't going to get no more pocketbooks, right? But check it. 
I am gonna just get rid of all of these pocketbooks. Like, I don't use some of them. I mean, I don't have a lot. I just have <clears throat> one, two, three, four. I think I have like seven of them here. I really just use like two. I'm just gonna get rid of the rest. And then I honestly just, I'm gonna use this one now. <laughs> this one and my little crossbody. I don't really need, like I said, I'm not gonna, you know, hoard stuff that I don't need, like just to make them look good. I don't, I don't feel the need to. So anyways, I just got this one here and I think it's super cute. Simple, black. I've been doing a lot of black lately and that's because black could pretty much just go with anything, you know? So simple and it's not too big. All the snacks I'm gonna be bringing. So these are the Yod snacks, okay? I got a bunch of banana chips. And no, I'm not going to be eating these all at in one serving. <laughs> these were only 50 cents. I had to rack up. It was just only right. So I got two, four, six, eight banana chips. And these are the St. Mary's. I got some tamarind balls. And these are actually the best brand of tamarind balls I've ever tasted up here. These are $2 each. And I just got three of them. So these are just going to go in my pantry. Spice bun. Oh, wow. These expired January. Oh, that sucks. I would have never got three then. I probably would have just only got one. And I just got some raw peanuts. These were a dollar a bag. So I got four of them. Wait, they have different ones. They have roasted and raw. So I got two roasted and two raws. These are a lot, right? And then I got dark soy chunks. Veggie chunks, they taste like meaty. It's like a meat substitute. I've never made it before, but I saw it and I was like, well, I'm going to have to start to make my own because that's another thing I'm going to miss too. So here in Brooklyn, there's so much like ITIL restaurants and you can have like a variety of vegan meals. So, you know, you just, you just don't have to eat kale and spinach all the time. You know, you can eat like really um, flavorful plant-based meals. So I'm going to make my own because I have no choice now. I'm sure I can find vegan restaurants, but I, I'm i more than sure that a lot of places, because even here, they have vegan shrimp, they have vegan oxtail, you know what I'm saying? So all of these like Jamaicans, vegan spots, they have these things where I know for a fact I'm not gonna have access to them. I'm gonna just go on YouTube and just, you know, do my own stuff. Why not? I have nothing else to do, right? So just do my research and have some fun in the kitchen. I want to curry them and I also want to stew them. This one is the light soy chunks, no preservatives. And then they also have the dark one. I wasn't sure which one to get. And I really just didn't feel like going on YouTube and trying to look it up right then and there. So I just got both of them. I also got some oats so that I can make oats porridge. Because once again, I, I'm going to miss all of this and I got to make it myself. And then I also got some cornmeal. I think I got the right one. I think they say get the fine cornmeal. It's my first time. No, I've made cornmeal years ago and it was a fail. I burnt it. So um, I don't remember which one I got, but... Um, I think they said the finer the better because it's going to taste smoother. So I just got three of these. I'm going to really miss, you know, feeling for it and just getting up and just going to get it or just ordering it. <sighs> got to get up and actually make it. Just got to, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Something new to get used to. <laughs> At least I stacked up for right now. So my pantry is going to be pretty stacked before I even get there and go to the supermarket. <laughs> And then I just got some water crackers, the Excelsior brand. I got two of them. These are really great with some butter. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I don't know about them something there. <laughs> and then I got this Jamaican Choice whole wheat and bran crackers. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to bag these up, especially the crackers, so that they don't, you know, crack too bad or you know split and stuff like that but that's what youtube is for you know <laughs> i'm about to just be googling and youtube and everything that's pretty much it i didn't realize i really got a lot of stuff but you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna end the vlog off here and then we're gonna start a brand new vlog because i wasn't intending on this haul to be this super long make sure you stay tuned for part two of this vlog thanks for watching and i'll see you